While the Iditarod has become a global race, its roots are still truly Alaskan, and that's a big reason why last year's winner was such a popular choice. KTVA's John Thane traveled to Bethel to check in with Pete Kaiser, whose breakthrough victory had been years in the making. Last year, Alaska watched a new champion cross the finish line in Nome. With a historic run, Pete Kaiser became the first person of Yupik descent to win the Iditarod. To see this huge crowd here and so many family and friends from back home, <laughs> it's really neat. He was born and raised in Bethel, 300 miles from the nearest highway. His father, Ron, is from Kansas. His mother, Janet, is native Yupik. All right, boys, good work. The family started to raise more dogs. And soon, young Pete was driving his own sled on the Kuskokwim River. Kind of a joke, you know, like, do you really want your kid to become a musher? It's such a crazy lifestyle, you know. But it proved to be good training. And by the time he was in college, mushing had taken over. Spent the whole semester in Fairbanks watching I did a rod videos and you know going online and just researching as much as I possibly could and I was just completely fascinated with it. I failed most of my classes because I was just thinking about dog mushing. And what better place to begin than Bethel's biggest event of the year. The Kuskokwim 300. Growing up it was just like the coolest thing going on. The 300-mile dog sled race brought the world's top mushers to Pete's backyard. Rural Alaska is so different, you know, we don't have professional sports teams, we can't go to a, a Laker game. That type of stuff is so far out there, but we can have, you know, the best mushers in the world come right to our community and race through these villages and go to the schools and say hi to the kids and shake people's hands, and that's, that's unique. It's special for kids, and I remember feeling the same way as a kid, hanging out with mushers, it was like, after college, Kaiser would compete with his role models and eventually beat them. This year, his number of K300 wins climbed to five. Totally blessed and it's just, it's awesome to share this with the community and, and see everybody get such a big kick out of it. And he says this year's team has what it takes. It also has a future. Good dogs. Hopefully we get to spend a bunch of time running down the trail, you know. I think they're going to be good. Got phenomenal genetics and um, all the right stuff. And they're cute. They also have a great teacher and good role models. And with that, Kaiser says, anything is possible. Pete is now 32, entering as the defending champion, and this will be his 11th consecutive Iditarod. He's finished all 10 previously. In 2010, he was 28th, and that's noteworthy because it's the only time outside the top 20. Six of those 10 finishes are top 10s, which means if you're trying to find Pete Kaiser's name on the leaderboard, start on the first page. It's where you'll find him. Dave Goldman, KTVA 11 News.